somewhere. The pupils didn't just study the subjects they took O-levels in. They also endured Latin, 1950s style. You will be a lacrimose to discover that for many of you, this is your last Latin lesson. The affair has been brief, but I feel informative. Am I ever going to see your face? Or are you going to hide in that desk the entire lesson? You I'm talking to! You know what I'm going to do to you now, don't you? I'm going to... Repudiate. <laughs> right. Consider yourself repudiated. Repudio, Latin, fourth conjugation, I reject or I disdain. Amazingly, disdain mean? Latin became the kids' favourite subject, thanks in no small Easily part wounded. to Mr War. I remember um, hating Mr War on the first day. I thought he was a short, jumped-up little upstart. But actually, I think he was probably my favourite in the end. I thought, I thought he was very funny and very quirky and just himself. He was very funny when he went round with a stick, just trying to hit people. By doing the Latin as well, it helped us understand the language more and understand why things were like they were instead of just accepting things. There is a myriad of words that you use on an everyday basis that have a Latin root. In the 1950s, virtually every grammar school pupil studied Latin, at least for a couple of years. Last summer, less than 2% of pupils took it at GCSE. If you really want to master your own language, if you really want to master French or Italian or Spanish, having a good knowledge of Latin will help you enormously. So that old phrase, Latin is a language as dead as dead can be, First it killed the Romans, and now it's killing me. You can repudiate that once and for all.